Open Heavens Daily Devotional, Friday, August 11, 2023. Topic. Why God May Be Silent. Memorize. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Read. John 5 1 9. 1. After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. 2. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. 3. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, and troubled the water, whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. 5. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. 6. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? 7. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. 8. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. 9. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked, and on the same day was the Sabbath. Message. Several years ago, when I was a very young preacher, there was a good campground in Nigeria called the Youth Camp. We would often go there for retreats. One day while we were there for a retreat, the owners told me they wanted to sell the place for 100,000 naira. We had nothing close to that kind of money then, but I had faith that God would buy the place for us. I gathered my people together and we prayed round the camp, confessing that it was already ours in line with the word of God in Joshua 1-3, Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. Later on, when the owners saw that we were not forthcoming with the money, they sold it to a bigger ministry. We were devastated. We turned to God, but Lord, we prayed, we used your word. All through, he remained silent. He remained silent because he had something bigger in store for us. He knew that 40 acres of land would be too small for where he was taking us. By God's grace, the auditorium we now call the old auditorium sits on over 40 acres of land. Our new auditorium is now 3 kilometers by 3 kilometers. If you have prayed, praised God, and are sure of your faith, but God remains silent, it is likely because he has something bigger in store for you than what you are asking for. He is a God who takes pleasure in exceeding his children's expectations. The Bible says in Ephesians 3:20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. In our Bible reading for today, the man at the pool of Bethesda was explaining his predicament to Jesus, hoping that he would help him get into the water. Jesus however ignored him and gave him something greater. This is the case many times when you are praying and it looks like God is ignoring you, he may just be preparing something greater for you. Don't give up hope, trust him. Isaiah 55 8 and 9 says. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Key point. When you have done everything right on your end and God is silent, he is most likely preparing something bigger for you. Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones of via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.